The Astana Economic Forum was held in Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan, in May this year. The participants, which included former heads of state, Nobel laureates, ministers, businessmen and bank executives, discussed issues of international monetary affairs, innovative development, integration, food security, eco-friendly technology and many other items on the agendas of both developed and developing countries. Today we have brought together brilliant minds, theorists and practitioners of the economists. In particular, the United Nations Organization, the UN, has paid us great attention being represented by the deputies of Secretary General. This forum has involved the heads of major international tourism organizations, agriculture sector and others. I would like to express my gratitude to all of you having accepted invitations for arriving at the fourth Astana Economic Forum. The number of forum participants exceeded 5,000 people from more than 80 countries. It held 18 meetings and panel discussions and as a result they signed memoranda and investment agreements on cooperation worth more than two and a half billion dollars. There have also been proposals prepared with the help of prominent scientists as well as recommendations to the leaders of the G20. Countries are competing in terms of economic progress and uh, other elements of progress and so they they try to do better than another. John Nash is an American mathematician working in the field of game theory and differential geometry. He is the winner of the Nobel Prize for Economics in 1994 for the analysis of equilibrium in the theory of non-cooperative games. It's competition indicates also an imperfection of knowledge that they can compete in this way because they don't know simply how to do the best. My, my impression is that Kazakhstan envisions themselves to have this forum become similar to the forum in Europe in Davos every year. Finn Kidland is a Norwegian economist and laureate of the 2004 Nobel Prize for Economics for contributions to dynamic microeconomics, the time consistency of economic policy and business cycles. Dr. Kidland studied at the Norwegian School of Economics and Business Administration. He earned his PhD from the Carnegie Mellon University. He taught at the University of California in Santa Barbara. Uh, but more focusing on Asia and other non-European countries. And in that sense, I think they're doing a good job. Now, I haven't been to the forum in Davos, so I can't really compare and uh, tell whether they're doing a better or worse job, but, uh, but they do seem to be sincere about it. They have uh, what seems to, to be a uh, uh, interesting and productive program and they want to come up with conclusions after the program. Conclusions then can be submitted for example to the G20 and uh, in that sense it's, uh, it, it could be a very valuable thing. Вызовы, которые стоят перед мировой экономикой, вызовы, которые стоят перед экономикой Казахстана, они достаточно большие. The challenges facing the global economy and the economies of Kazakhstan are sufficiently large. In my view, open discussion of the economic development, the consequences and further events is crucially important. We hope we are even confident that practical solutions which are to be adopted will help both the economy of Kazakhstan and may be taken into account by economies around the world. It is very important for us to plan rationally the program of economic growth in Kazakhstan. We have set ourselves as ambition goal. President of Kazakhstan initiated to achieve GDP amounting to over 15,000 per capita in the period until 2015. This is a great indicator which allows Kazakhstan to be equal to the OECD members. The draft of an agreement on the initiative of the President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, for the creation of interregional and cross-sectoral partnerships in green economics was also submitted. 
As well as this, recommendations to the leaders of G20 and the economic features of tourism in the modern world were discussed. Remarkably, the capital of Kazakhstan also became the subject of speakers' attention. The Secretary-General of the World Tourism Organization, who has visited almost all countries of the world, expressed sincerely his admiration for Astana. I must say that we meet here not only at a very special and critical time, but at a very special place as well, Mr. President. I was here less than two years ago, 18 months ago, to inaugurate the first General Assembly of the World Tourism Organization in this very hall. Grand cities, Mr. President, are acts of will. They become with time the embodiment of the soul of the people, their dreams, their aspirations, their future. Astana is one of them. And this could have never happened without your vision and without your determination. You deserve congratulations. One of the reasons for the success of the forum is because of the participation of the highest members of government. Roger Kornberg is an American biochemist and professor of structural biology at Stanford University and holds an honorary doctorate of the Omiya University. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in 2006 for his studies of the process by which genetic information is copied by cells. So the president, the prime minister, various uh, heads of ministries have all joined in the event. Uh, that conveys uh, already a certain level of interest on the part of the nation as a whole. Uh, it is through such efforts the forum will be established as an event of worldwide importance. Я бы хотел сказать и отметить возрастающую роль вот этого астанинского экономического форума. I would like to notice an increasing role of Astana Forum. Speeches of Mr. President Nazarbayev, Mr. Mandel have shown the importance of this site as it produced different ideas and have also shown as a great job of the Eurasian Economic Club of Scientists and their virtual forum. All the ideas that have already been submitted to us by previous sessions are showing us the increasing role of the forum. The important role played by Kazakhstan in the global agricultural system. Thanks to its resources, the country has an excellent advantage to increase agricultural production and a respectful potential that can make a significant contribution to improve regional and global food security. FAO provides support to Kazakhstan in fulfilling its agricultural potential, and together with other international organizations, looks forward to giving further technical assistance and to enhancing the knowledge of the country. Uh, let me join my colleagues uh, in thanking the Astana Forum uh, for the wonderful event uh, they've just uh, produced. It's an investment, uh, I think, that has already paid off, for we do have uh, a wealth of recommendations to carry forward uh, to our G8 governors as they prepare for the next G8 summit in Cannes, France, November 3rd uh, to 4th this year. Uh, certainly, we in the uh, G20 research group will do uh, everything we can to make sure that the uh, recommendations from Astana uh, do receive the uh, careful consideration they so richly deserve by uh, our G20 governors uh, who are badly in need uh, of more advice uh, from governments outside uh, the G20 uh, and from global civil society uh, as a whole. Не представляется, что проведение Астанинского форума по существу во многом I think conducting of Astana Forum in fact largely transforms the system of global decision making from G8 to G20 and today we can rightly speak about the formation of the G17. Thank you. I, I am a mathematician by training and there is a very uh, old mathematical problem 
and it is called uh, squaring the circle. It was already suggested by the Greeks, and nobody was able to solve it for thousands of years, and then about 150 years ago, it was proved that it is impossible to solve this problem. But the Kazakhstanis have uh, succeeded in solving this problem. We had, just before this session, we had a round table which is square. Uh, now, um, now, uh, seriously, the, uh, this uh, beautiful country of Kazakhstan has really succeeded in squaring the circle. It has made a tremendous leap forward in the last 20 years. I think this is an even more important achievement than the, uh, the achievement of squaring the circle. And I have to say, as an Israeli, I have to say that I am jealous of the uh, uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, it's not that in Israel we are uh, economically backward. We have also made tremendous economic leaps forward. But there is a, a, a the, we had lunch with the Prime Minister, um, Mr. Masimov, and he explained to us that, in fact, Kazakhstan has no enemies at all. The whole world is friendly with Kazakhstan. And I only wish we could say that for Israel. <clears throat> so let me congratulate again this beautiful country and this uh, beautiful organization of this forum. Thank you very much. The Astana City Council organized the Astana Invest 2011 Investment Forum, which performs specific capital investment projects based on public and private partnerships in education, infrastructure, energy, culture and sports facilities. Первый Астанинский экономический форум – это была блестящая идея, у которой было хорошее содержание, но не было, наверное, еще форумы достойной. Он проходил в зале, в конференц-зале Министерства экономического развития и торговли. Organization of the first Astana Economic Forum was a brilliant idea which had a good content, but there was no forum. However, for the period of four years, it has grown into such a huge area where we discuss global problems faced both Kazakhstan and whole world community. In my view, this is a very valuable experience for Kazakhstani economics. Example, we have invited our common employers from 16 regions of the country so that they could get inspired with the ideas that are being discussed in here could realize how many brilliant minds are participating in this event all together, solving different economical problems, making decisions and trying to embody their ideas into reality. Принимают какие-то решения и говорят о каких-то своих теориях, а они являются уже они воплощают эти идеи в жизнь. In 94, Britain Woods Committee was renewed. The committee monitors the activities of the Britain Woods institutions and, in general, offers a better way to reform. And it, it is for the first time in the Chronicles of Kazakhstan the committee comes to us and discusses the international monetary system. The results of the virtual forum are particularly impressive. This has been confirmed by the international popularity of the project. During six months, it was visited by more than 180,000 users in 122 countries. The virtual forum is a unique area created by the Eurasian Economic Club of Scientists on the website of the Astana Economic Forum. It allows its participants to discuss its articles and conduct surveys and business projects throughout the year. Kazakhstan has been an important player in this, in this area. And it's, uh, I think it's got itself heard now. I think it's, it's making itself heard. Robert Mundell is a Canadian economist. He received the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1999 for his pioneering work on monetary dynamics and optimum currency areas. He studied at such universities as the University of British Columbia, University of Washington, University of Chicago, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he obtained his PhD in economics. This the Astana conference is 
fourth conference is just a show that the, these, I've been at the last three of these, including this one, and um, they're getting better all the time. I think uh, the people who come are wonderful, and I think, I think it's a great forum. It's, I, I, hope it, I hope it keeps on expanding. There's no, no reason why it should stop. And I think it's a good service for Kazakhstan to get itself known. And it's a good service for certainly all the other Turkic countries nearby. And then I think all of Eurasia, I think there are, everybody's interested in it. One of the main results of the fourth Astana Economic Forum is the creation of the Astana Club of Nobel Prize winners which is aimed at combining the potential and authority of the Nobel Prize laureates who are involved in the work of the Forum and the Eurasian Economic Club of Scientists. Creating such an organization will attract the interest of the world's political and business elite in the Forum and projects within its framework. I want to emphasize the role of the Nobel Prize laureates, the world-class scientists. Let me express my gratitude to all of you. I wish you great success in your work. Participation of such great figures once again highlights the intellectual nature of our forum. This is not surprising as the initiator and the main organizer of the forum is the Eurasian Economic Club of Scientists. I invite you all to the fifth Astana Economic Forum, which will be held on the May 23, 24, 2012.